Hey everyone, uh, welcome to part six of our data grid series, which is actually part three of custom data grid. So we are still working on our custom data grids. Uh, before we, get, we begin, let's uh, do a quick recap. So in uh, part four of the series, we created a custom data grid and we were able to add custom columns and we were able to bind to our data including using the object data provider and all that good stuff and in part five we have seen how to create a data grid uh, template column and use that to improve the uh, design of our column and also we have seen how to work with data grid row template uh, row details template okay um, so one of the biggest benefits of using custom data grid it gives you a uh, full control over how you display your data how you design your columns okay uh, that being said, in this part, we are going to go a little bit into styling and what you can do with it. I mean, it's not the end of it, but I'm just going to give you a, just a glimpse of things you can do. But the rest is up to you, or if you want to share your thoughts, please drop in comment sections. Okay, all right, thank you. Uh, so that being said, let's get started. So first, um, I'd like to start with the uh, song title column. Let's say again, we have full control over how you display your column, how you design your column. But let's say uh, this guy, I'd like to um, change the font family, not font weight, to 10, OK? Now you got completely a different look of this column, right? Right. I mean, little simple things can make big impact on how you, the appearance or the feel of your data grid. Or for instance, this guy here, the second artist column, I like to change the uh, font family. I can easily do so, just set in the font family right here. Or you can do it through the styles. And that's totally up to you. Let's say this guy, I want this to be, say, go script. Now, again, a completely different look for the column. All right. Um, this guy, movie title. I like to go with a little fancy on that guy. So I'm going to go with a style. Um, let's see. Okay, so that's a data grid text column. All right, so I'm going to create a style up here in our window resources. So style, I'm going to get a key. Let's say, um, see let's call this um, uh, title style okay our target type is going to be data grid cell okay so in here first I want to set the let's say Property foreground, oops, foreground to let's say red. Okay, that didn't do nothing because we didn't call on our style, right? We gave it the key, that means we have to reference it. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to say style, cell style, 
actually. And that'll be static resource title style. So now we got red color foreground. But I'm gonna actually add a trigger to it. So style of triggers. And it's going to be data trigger. So the idea is if the value is of sound is soundtrack property. When it's true, I like this foreground to be green. So it's going to be binding, binding to is soundtrack. Okay, and the value when it's true. Then I want to set the setter, the property. I want to set the property foreground to a different color, in which, in our case, it's going to be green. Okay. And let's see if this works. Let's build this. It didn't work. Let's find out why. Let me run this. Maybe I'm missing something. Okay. So, if I get rid of, um, let's see, the that trigger is ah, misspelling? Could be? Yep. There you go. So, again, uh, the possibilities are probably limitless. I mean, you can do anything you want. We just did, uh, we set this foreground color based on a trigger, based on another property. Okay, let's say um, the year column, I want underline, right? Let's go down below here. I mean, again, we can do with style or simple stuff. I probably would just go inside the column and do it. So let's see. Where is our year right here? Okay. So let's see if I say uh, font, maybe. Okay. Now I got to go into text block, right? We have a text block here, so. Let's say font, mm, no, I probably can't do it here. Mm, yeah. Text decoration, there it is, okay. Sometimes kind of blank, in, blank out, my memory blanks out, so text decoration, let's say underlined. Okay, now we got this column underlined. Right, again, you have full control over the columns. So, um, let's say we want to do alternate uh, column backgrounds, like we did with the row alternating row backgrounds. We can do that with a style quite easily. Let's go ahead and do it, actually. So style, let's get a key. Let's call this alt column background. OK, it's going to be target, targeting data grid cell again. All right, here we're going to see setter. The property we're looking for is background. And let's get a color. Let's say, um, how about light blue? Okay, now if we go inside a column, let's start with, I guess, what? I'm gonna go with, um, See, um, I think I'm gonna go with Gainsborough. 
Well, we can try anyway. Let's start with the first column, uh, which is a uh, data grid template column. So to set the style, we're, we're just going to need that uh, cell style property, and we're going to set this to static resource data grid um, alt background alt column background. So which is the key over here? Okay, so we reference that key inside static resources of our cell style. All right, so we got that. Now we can uh, copy and paste this to alternating columns. Let's go column number three, which is artist, over here. And now we got that covered. Let's keep going. Column number five. I guess you can call it odd columns as well which is movie title. Our movie title already has a style, so I'm going to leave that alone. Let's go to genre. Let's go over here, paste it in. Okay. Um, and what else do we have? We have this guy and this guy. So we can go with the last one, which is URL. We can set the style. And there you go. Let's run this and see how it looks. All right, so now we have alternating um, column backgrounds. OK. And we still have that uh, row details things going on. So that's covered a lot of stuff. All right, I think um, if you guys want me to cover anything else, please drop in the comment section. But I think uh, this is going to be the last for custom data grid before we get into events and things like that so again if you guys want me to cover anything please drop in the comment section but other than that until the next time so long